So let's do a more complicated problem. You have x squared minus 3x plus 1 times x squared times 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. So use the fall method to also solve a trinomial. So firstly, we want to multiply x squared by 2x squared. Of s square times two x square we're really equal to two x raised to the fourth power always number come before letter two x raised to the fourth power and how do we get this four we add this exponent we add an exponent that's what we derive at this form and next we want to multiply s squared by 4 s squared times 4x be equal to 4 x cube well we have four x cube we have an invisible one here one plus two give us three x times six minus six x squared times minus six we already give us minus six x square minus six x square minus six x square so by the way this is a trinomial multiplying trinomial by trinomial how how do i know that it's trinomial because we have a sign that divide this variable and coefficient We have x squared minus 3x plus 1. These are three terms. We have 1, 2, 3. Three terms. We have x squared plus x, 4x minus 6. These are three terms. x squared, 2x squared is a term by itself. 4x is a term by itself. And minus 6 is a term by itself. So, we are multiplying trinomial by trinomial. So we take this. The first one will multiply whatever we have in this parenthesis. Like we multiply all by this x squared. x squared, that's what we have here. And then we move to the next section, which is minus 3x minus 3x times 2x squared is number one number two minus 3x minus 3x times 2x squared equal what minus 3x equal 2x squared where's the answer um, 3 them 2 x 6 we're, we're going to give out negative 6 negative times positive is negative negative 6 for the variable we just add a coefficient which is we have a visible one here we have 2 here which give us Return to six x cube s cube or x raised to the third power minus x cube or minus x raised to the third power. 
And the next step, we multiply this by this, 3x by 4x. 3x by 4x minus 3x times positive 4x minus 3x times a positive 4x we give us minus 12x squared How do we get a minus 12x squared? Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. We have x squared times x times x divided x squared. We just add the exponent. There's an invisible one here, invisible one here. That's what we divide, derive out the 2. And lastly, we have x squared, 3, 3x times minus 6 3x minus 3x minus 3x times minus 6 equal to 18 18x negative and negative is a positive a negative times a negative give it positive we just have or x so we're going to go with your number 18x so we have completed the second steps so this is here we come with the third steps the third steps is to multiply a positive one by this whole digits by this whole trinomial that we have in this parenthesis this one we multiply it by 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 we have one positive one times 2 x squared we're going to give us 2 x squared 1 times any number is the number itself we give a 2 x squared next 1 times a positive 4 x 1 times a positive 4 x And give a full x one times a minus six one times a minus six we give us minus six a minus six so where's the next step? The next step is to pull all of this equation together. Put all the equation together. We have 2x raised to the fourth power. We have 4x raised to the third power, minus 6x raised to the second power, minus 6x raised to the third power, minus 2x raised to the second power, a positive 18x and we have 2x squared positive 2x squared we have positive 4x and we have minus 6 so we are going to put all this together So we have here we have we have two x raised to the full power 
and we have a positive a positive full x raised to the third power the third power positive full x raised to the third power we have minus 6 x raised to the second power we have a minus 6 x raised to the third power we have minus 12 x raised to the second power and we have a positive 18 positive 18 x and here we have 2 x raised to the second power positive 2 raised to the second power we have a positive 4 x raised to the 1 power so we just say x positive 4 x and then we have minus 6 minus 6 so when we have pulled out out of this equation together now we want to combine large term all number with the same variable you want to combine them together like you are saying all ladies one side and all gentlemen one side so you're combining like term you want for all number with the all number with the same variable to come one side so in combining like term you want to be very very vigilant to select the like terms so here we have 4x cubed is similar to 6x cubed so that's the first like term we we can see so where's the next one so let's bring this problem down first so 2x 2x raised to the fourth power 2x raised to the fourth power and we have positive minus 3x cubed minus 3 not 3 but 6 minus 6x six raised to the third power you have 4 you minus 6 you get minus 2 so you just bring one of the s cube down 2x cube so what's the next one that we recognize next one is 12x squared minus 12x squared and 2x squared positive 2x squared so you have minus 12 you have minus 12 plus plus 2 we're going to give you minus 12 plus 2 we're going to give you we're going to give you minus 10 minus 12 plus 2 we're going to give you minus 10 minus 10 x squared minus 10 x squared I want you to take a keen look we also have minus 6 x squared which part of the x squared family minus 6 x squared and we also want to talk about like terms so we also want to minus 6 right minus 6 so this is going to give us 16 minus 6 um we have minus 10 minus 6 it will give you a minus 16 x squared a minus 16 x squared so these are our lurk term minus 6 x squared minus 2 x squared and positive 2x squared
these are the three lecterns that will combine to give us minus 16 s squared minus 16 s squared so what next what next what next so we have let's take a keen look we have positive 18 x and we have a positive 4 x here so the elect term so the elect term um 18 plus 4 give you 22 and 22 22 22 x and the last one what remain is minus 6 now we see minus 6 doesn't have any partner so we just bring it down so this is our answer we have been simplified first you use the four mentor which stands for first outer inner and last and second you put all this equation together once you use the four mentor you put all this equation together and then lastly you simplify by combining like term so thank you guys thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not comment put a comment in the comment section we want to hear from you we want to get a feedback how well we are doing and also share the video with your friend if you share the video you are not only sharing the video you are also you are also educating someone who is facing problem with math so thank you for your support